Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the console functions, or the top five main ones in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, this is another of the code tutorial series, um, so let's get right into it. So, as always, I'm going to open up the Replit app, or the Replit.com, right here. If you don't have an account, you should create one, because it is really helpful, has lots of languages you can code in. And it's just a really good IDE coding software. But for me, I'm just going to open the Replit app. I'm going to create a REPL. You just want to click HTML, CSS, and JS. And what I'm going to put in here is I'm just going to put console functions. I'm going to create a REPL. And it's going to be called console functions. It's what I typed. And then in here, we're going to get this. Um, I always delete this because it puts a replit badge. If you want to keep it, uh, you can definitely keep it on there. But um, I'm just going to delete it. And script.js is where we're going to be doing most of our stuff. Index.html, we're going to do some stuff. You can add styling to this website. I don't usually do styling. Um, so you can either delete this and delete line right here, or you can just leave it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this hello world. And I'm just going to do console functions and I'm gonna put all the different console functions so first there's console.log then there's console.error then there's console.warn and there's console.info and there's console.debug there are a lot more um, console functions you can look them up and stuff um, but Honestly, these are the ones that you're going to use most, especially console.log and console.error, console.warn. These are the ones you're going to use the most, these three right here. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So first, we're going to need to create a button to actually log the information to the console. So I'm just going to add a button like this. And then I'm going to do on click. And then right here inside these uh, quotation marks I'm just gonna put our function to log just log in the console so I'm just gonna be doing this as log console we'll create this function soon and then we'll do console.log and it's our first button we'll do a break br tag button on click and then we'll do log error this isn't going to be an actual error it's just going to log an error even though it's there's no error um it's not actually going to be an error but we'll still put this in um and just put console dot error slash button and we'll do another break tag br we'll do another button on click and this time we're going to do console dot warn so this will be log warn and then we'll do console dot warn and if you want to copy and paste these and just change a little bit of text that's probably the better thing to do I'm just, I'm just gonna start doing that now next it's going to be debug oops console debug And then we'll just do debug right here. Alright, and at, once you have this, um, all the buttons are set up. And you can uh, actually go to script.js. Make sure it saves up here. Go to script.js, and you can start making a bunch of functions. We'll copy this function and keep pasting it. about five times because that's how many we want to do alright and then inside these we need to put our function name right here and we're going to put log I can't remember what we put there log console right here we're gonna do log error and then right here we're going to do log warn log info 
and then right here, I'm gonna go back, make sure that all this is here. Oh, and it looks I miss looks like I missed info. It's okay, you always make mistakes in code. This just happens. Alright, so we have log console, log error, check, check. And we have log one, check. We have log info, check. And then we need log debug. What am I doing? Alright, and then here we're just going to put right here, we're going to do log debug. All right, and that's our function successfully set up. So now what we're going to do is in log console, we're just going to do console. As you can see, there's a variable right here. And we're just going to do dot, and we're going to do log. And as you can see, it comes up with a log. There's also time log. You don't want to do that. Um, this is just log. And in here, you can do a variable, like my variable, if you, ha if you um, did... If you had your own var variable you wanted to log in the console, or you could just do plain text in a string, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be like, clicked the log console button, now it displayed this. Alright. And then in log error, what we're going to do is we're going to do console.error. And in here we can put um, anything, a string... Um, usually is what you should use. I'm just going to put, there was an error. Just kidding. Not really an error. And then in here, I'm going to do console.warn. And then here I'm just going to be doing unstable button. JK. And then in here, I'm going to be doing console.info. This web page is about to collapse, but it's fine. And then in here, I'm just going to do console.debug. And I'm just going to do random, because I don't know what to put for there. As you can see, if we run our... Um, and click our run button right here. It's going to come up with this stuff. Um, you're actually done with this, so now we can go ahead and click open in a new tab. It'll probably open in your default browser. That's okay. It's what it's supposed to do. All right, and here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to going to want to click Control Shift J. If you're on Windows, if you're on Chrome OS, you're going to click Control Shift I. It also works for Windows too, but um, it's better to use Chrome Chrome OS for Control Shift I and Control Shift J for Windows. Um, or you can press F12 if you're on Edge or something like that, or Chrome. I'm pretty sure too. I don't know for sure, but um, you can just press F12. If you're on Linux, it will be Alt plus F2 usually. Um, it changes depends. It depends on what programs you're running. Um, but that's Alt plus F2. And then if you're on Max, you're just going to do Command Shift J. I'm pretty sure. I don't know for sure. But I have a guide on that. I'll leave it in the description. Because um, the developer console is used a lot. Or you can just look up um, on your browser how to do developer console with your browser. Um, but you're going to see this. And right here, you can click console.log. And as you can see, it's going to put in the console. Click the log console button. Now it displayed this. And then if I click console.error, it says there was an error. Just kidding, not really an error. And then it shows where this was um, sent from. So that's a little extra thing to know. And then if we do console.warn, it's just going to put unstable button. Just kidding. And then we can do console.debug right here. And as you can see, it's actually not going to display anything because it's going to debug the console. So it's not going to display anything. It's just debugging the console. Um, so you can't see anything for that one. But then if you do console.info, it's just going to put something like, this web page is about to collapse, but it's fine. 
And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as console.log. Um, I'm, I believe there are some differences, but I, I don't even know what those differences are. Um, but yeah, this is how you do the console functions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thomas P12, out.